So the. So you don't have to worry about the DVD player. Okay, cool. And where is the. Oh, it's panel. Okay, cool. Alright. Okay, thanks, Bill. So I'm going to hit play and then it will show all the pictures. That's mm -hmm. fine. Is that yeah. all right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. And then I'll probably ask you questions about them afterwards. Yep. During if they're slow right. or whatever. Great. Hey, guys. We're getting there. Yeah. Looks good. And my hand is out of the picture this time, so it's good. It didn't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> And it's it didn't like bother their PR people the either. So. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh gosh. So uh, how long are you still here? Only two, uh, three weeks. Okay. Yeah. I want to stay longer, but you know. <laughs> back to home. Or? Yeah. Copenhagen. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. That's a long way. All right. Ten seconds. <clears throat> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Drag Show. I'm Stu Smith, and with me tonight is Mother Chucka. Look at that colorful pride-type outfit. I wow. couldn't help wearing it for June. It's beautiful. Thank it's you. It's great, you know, <laughs> get us into the spirit. Exactly. You know. Happy Gay Pride, everyone. <laughs> Coming up shortly, isn't it? Couple weeks. Uh, yeah. Busy wow. time for drag queens. A busy time for anybody. <laughs> hey, probably. Uh, even the firefighters are probably making extra money. There you know, go. Knows. So tell me a little bit about your career. Um, well, I guess uh, it started uh, back when I was 14. I grew up outside of Boston. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, I was part of the church youth organization. And the first, uh, the first time I ever did drag was for the CYO talent show at the local church, uh, you know, little theater thing. Uh -huh. uh, much to the chagrin of my parents and all my friends. <laughs> but uh, I was an instant officiant, you know, <laughs> I was converted then. Okay. And then, uh, you know, I lived many years in Boston up until I was about 30. You know, did drag sort of sporadically. We did it for fun, mostly. I didn't, wasn't really performing on stage so much. Uh -huh. uh, came out here in 1992. Uh, one of my best friends moved out here just a year later, uh, who was Sister Phyllis of uh, oh, sure. Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, yeah. Sister Philistine the Fragrant. And uh, she was uh, performing all the time everywhere, and oftentimes I would be in drag as her backup person or whatever. Uh, so I got a lot of experience on stage before I actually did my own thing. And uh, then uh, in the 2000s, I guess, you know, uh, Tranny Shack, yeah. The Monster Show. Uh, I, I mean, I did drag for... Uh, fundraisers before that, but sure. I never really like was motivated to make a name for myself and uh -huh. really try to do you know have it be a second career. It's a second yeah. Career for me. So tell me about the the second career aspect of it. What does that really mean? I mean, are you able to? I have a full time pay job the during gowns? the day. At, well, you know, I'm not really wearing gowns, darling. But you know what uh, I mean. I'm a I mean, rock and roll drag queen. All right, uh, cool. It does keep me in wigs and dresses, though. I mean, okay. I make a lot of my own stuff. I made this. Uh -huh. uh, you know, I do a lot of my own wigs, or uh, you know, some of my dear friends do them. But uh, you know, um, it does. It pays for the fabric. It pays for you know everything. The boobs. The, you know, <laughs> I recently uh, tweeted that I got a I got a boob job from UPS. Well, I'll tell uh, you, they actually they <laughs> bounce like real. They do. They do. <laughs> That's like why it. I love them. I like it. Um, you know, I mean, I have to go to work every morning, so uh -huh. sometimes it's hard to be a tranny. You yeah, know, I, I guess, all my yeah. shows are at midnight. It's you know, it can That's be painful, be but uh, I take disco naps. I learned that in the 70s, and, uh, you know, <laughs> I get my sleep when I can, and I have a good time when it's there. That's great. I, I mean, I obviously am very, very taken by the drag community and all that they do, but it's the, the characters, the personalities, the strength, the power, you know, the commitment to, uh, to becoming something that... It's kind of like an alter ego or something, you know? For some people. I mean, a lot of people would say I'm not very much different yeah, in well. or out of drag. <laughs> so? Um, so just the clothing, huh? Yeah. Yeah, really. I mean, That's although, you know, I'm not quick to jump on stage when I'm not in drag. I mean, you know. Okay. It's, yeah, it's kind of a little bit of a license to be a little freer, I think. I agree with you totally. I mean, <laughs> you can have a lot of fun and... 
I also have my anon- my anonymity. I mean, of uh, course, my friends know who I am, but uh, yeah, you know, I can uh, be out there and be doing all kinds of stuff. You know, doing entertainment stuff, doing fundraising stuff, doing charity stuff, and then I can be on Muni, and you know, my lips are moving because I'm rehearsing my music, <laughs> but nobody's bothering me. You know, it's 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 fun that way. Uh huh. No, and, and, and you I know, and of course, then I can get away with things on stage, like you know taking off all my clothes, which <laughs> I'm not sure I want the people on Muni to know that. Sorry. <laughs> so where, where have you been performing this year? Um, a lot of fun places. Uh, Cocktail Gate, almost, you know, a lot of Sunday nights. Uh, it's now at Rebel, which is at Octavia and Market. Uh, yep. Moved over from Truck. Great stage, you know, uh, super fun cast uh, of regulars, and then a lot of people kind of float through, but... Uh, you know, there's a lot of great young talent there. Uh, do you, you must know uh, Chastity Bell, Joshua sure. Thake, who does yeah. uh, an amazing Judy Garland. And, of course, my dear friends, Karma's a Bitch, Sukasa, and Aurora Switchblade, who are all, you know, super talented. Aurora just won Miss Something's Got Talent on Friday night, which is another show, something that I do all the time. I love those guys. Uh, Glamamore, Vivian uh-huh. Forevermore. And Downey, who's the DJ, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, you know, it's something different every week. And it's just, you know, they. It, I love the shows where they put a lot of uh, creativity into it. You know, they sort of thematic. Um, I love freestyle sometimes, too. Merry-go-round yeah. is great, but uh, which I also do. But uh, something in Cocktail Gate in particular, you know, you got to put some thought into it. I mean, it's not just a bunch of people doing the same numbers that they're, you know, they've been doing for whatever. It's, you know, it, it keeps those juices flowing. Uh-huh. I like that. I mean, I a, like... Did you ever do Tranny Shack? Oh, absolutely. That's yeah. uh, my first number as Mother Chucka in San Francisco was, uh, it tranny. was a Tranny Shack. It was, uh, I did uh, Courtney Love, uh, I'll Do Anything with my friends Arthur and uh, Kirby. Um, it was an amazing experience. Heckling is such a, you know, I mean, there's somebody who fostered a lot of amazing talent Absolutely. Uh, through the years. And Absolutely. Uh, I had a great time. I, and then, you know, the Monster Show came Cookie shortly dough. after that. And Cookie throws a great show, and it's yeah. back now at the Edge, so I'm back doing that. Yeah. And that's another one where we do the, these great themes, and it's a lot of fun. We're doing a Donna Summer Night for Pride on Thursday and next week. At the Edge? Or? At the Edge, okay. which is, yeah, is super fun. They just re- totally redid that space, which is super fun. Yeah, I got to go in. Um, you, you had some kind of an event Saturday or Saturday, their anniversary or something? Um, yes, yes, yeah. they just had. Were you there? It looked I, like I saw you. I ran through. Okay. But, you know, so I was doing Cocktail Gate, and uh, I also did the Dragathon at Marlena's on Sunday, which was a fundraiser for the Lions. Yeah, wow. Uh, so I was... You know, so are scooting. you part of the court? You one of them? No, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm like Woody Allen. <laughs> I never wanted to belong to a club that would have me. Um, I, you know, I, it's uh, I love those guys, and I've been done fundraisers for them for almost the 20 years I've been here. I mean, before I really went out and was doing shows, I was constantly performing at you know the dragathons and the court stuff where they were raising money and sister you know all my dear friends were sisters so uh-huh. sister penny sister saki sister phyllis uh roma when she first started sure. you know that whole gang i was running around with them for years so i was always you know a, a drag supporter you know not so much uh, out in the front which was fine i'm glad it came later in yeah. life <laughs> so uh, let's see um uh, do you work with spaz at all well, she does cocktail games on I Sunday thought. nights. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So yeah, and one so of my dear sisters, over and uh, there, right? Yeah, you know, you're now at Rebel. Gate, at Rebel. They're which, at Rebel, which is at uh, Octavia Market. That's right. That's right. Super super fun place. Uh, some other stuff I do. Toolbox at Club Ninety Three on Thursday nights. Um, Where's Club Ninety Three? That's at Ninth and Mission. Ninth and Mission. Uh, Dan and. Uh, Alexis Von Fears and David Hawkins, who is a great yeah. comedian, uh, throw a great, great party there every Thursday. And it's uh, a mix of comedy and uh, drag and performance art. And, you know, that pretty much describes me. So <laughs> it's super fun to go there and perform there. It's kind of like, uh, in a sense, burlesque. 
you know. It is very burlesque, and they have a lot of the burlesque girls come in and do some of their stuff. I mean, uh -huh. they have the Club Ninety Three is this huge, huge space. I haven't it's been so there. Great. So, what nights are you um, guys doing that? Th Thursday nights Thursday. at uh, eleven. I think there's a show. And Cocktail Gate is Friday. No, Cocktail Gate Sunday. Oh, Sunday. <laughs> so I can, let me give you my week. Okay, okay please. So Monday, Vianetta Discotheque. At. Uh, well, I, it's it used to be at a. Uh, Underground SF. I forgot the name of the club. Okay. Where uh, is it located? It's uh, in Lower Haight. Okay. And then Tuesdays, it's a top toss up between Meow Mix and Alexis Blair Penny's party, which is, I guess the name is escaping me because I'm Okay. Meow. But just where uh, is it? Uh, and that one's over at Aunt Charlie's. Okay. And then Wednesday night is Merry Go Round at uh, The Lookout. Okay. And then Booty Call, which is Juanita Moore and Joshua J party that they throw every week at Q Bar. You got to go there and get your picture taken. I I've know. Got all my pictures <laughs> and, uh, you know, the Guardian and all that comes from that party because it's so fun. Yeah. And then Thursday night is a toss up. You either have to go to the Monster Show at the Edge, which just came back, or if you're in the South the Market mood, you go to Toolbox, which is over okay. at Ninth and Mission. Okay. Friday nights is something at the Stud. Okay. My f And I need to plug, there's a party at the Stud a week from Thursday. It's their 45th anniversary. I read something about that in the BAR. So we're going to do a little show for them. Michael, uh, who owns the bar, or part, is a partial owner, uh, asked us all to come down because I do something and I did, you know, tranny shack and all that stuff at uh -huh. the bar. I mean, the st I love the stage of the stud. It's one of my favorite stages in the city. Um, yeah. Mostly what, because it's good and solid and you won't fall off. Right. And it's so N Nothing against the past suppository spelling. <laughs> 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 we have a good stage now at Cocktail Gate. But I remember when <laughs> we used to have to climb on a chair onto a pool table. <laughs> you know, it's fun to do shows that are new. Yeah. For oh, me. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, see them grow. You know, I was part of Toolbox the beginning. I was part of uh, Cocktail Gate the beginning. Uh, I was part of, the, really, the Monster Show. The beginning of the Monster Show when Cookie first went out on her own. You know, I did that show faithfully week after week because she, you know, just challenged me with yeah. fun assignments. <laughs> Some really amazing people in, in our community here in San Francisco. I mean, we, you've just mentioned a whole range of <laughs> amazing, amazing. I, I'm not name dropping, types. I swear. No, I know, but it's really true. I, I mean, work with them all. I don't know where else you could find the depth and the breadth of experience. No, but you, know, you also get to see, like, from. You know, I'm watching kids now like Karma's a bitch and Aurora yeah. Switchblade who yeah. are like, you know, 21, 22, yeah. 23, just out there performing all the way up to someone like Gina LaDivina who is doing something yeah. and, you know, who's out there doing all kinds of fun stuff. And I'm like, yes, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's what I like to see. I mean, I'm so closer to Gina than I am to Karma, but, uh, <laughs> you know, I hope to still be doing it when I, when, you know, forever. It's fun. Yeah, I, well, and it also is a lot of service to all sorts of people. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I'm doing a show Friday night, Gay Pride Weekend, Laguna Honda Hospital. Fantastic. For the patients. I love doing this show. I do it probably every two or three months, although at this time they called me. I was very flattered. Uh, they were like, can you come and do a Gay Pride show? Usually I'm calling wow. them. I'm like, hey, you know, I got a bunch of trainees who want to do a show, you know. And the patients love us, and I, can I mean, there's some that, that are there for kind of a long time, so I get to see some people, you know, a little bit semi-regularly when we go in, and they're so appreciative, and it's just, uh, you know, it is, uh, it's not great lighting. <laughs> they do it in the cafeteria, <laughs> it's under fluorescent lights, you know, it's not, but you know what, they don't care. Yeah, they are so happy that someone's there, just something different. and you know, it's I go out into exciting. the wards and I wheel people down to the thing, <laughs> and I try and drum up business. It's we have a good time up there. That's wonderful. So, uh, so that's a great thing. That's not a fundraising thing. That's uh -huh. just a fun thing. Yeah, um, I do raise a ton of money for a gazillion different organizations. <laughs> my 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 saying is that. Uh, I've, I've never turned anyone down for a fundraiser, but that's only because Nambla hasn't asked me yet. <laughs> I will say no to them. That's it. Just because it's illegal. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, or, you know, I'm so, not judging. <laughs> um, we talked a little bit about clothing and wigs and mm -hmm. all that. How, how do you store all of this? <laughs> Badly. <laughs> I try to give a lot away. Um, <laughs> You know, I, I really only try to keep my absolute favorite things. 
because uh, what we do, you know, Terlene, who's a dear friend of mine, yeah, who's a sure. great, great drag queen, uh, we drive down to L.A. once or twice a year, and we go to the garment district, and we just, you know, I save up my $200 or my $300, and I come back with two or 300 yards of fabric. Wow. I mean, it is amazing. It is a, it is so cheap, and of course, you know, there's not a lot, there's not a huge market for this fabric. Yeah. You know, yeah, so, but it's so, wonderful. So it was probably $1.99 a yard. I mean, it goes, <laughs> money goes a long way there. It's amazing. Um, so that's where uh, a lot of the costuming comes, and um, you know, I store it in this room. It's hanging from the rafters. I've got, I put a dowel up, and you know, I keep what I can there. And there's another dowel with jackets, and I try to be creative about <laughs> it because it does take over your life. I mean, it's certainly yeah, uh, yeah. you know, it's uh, you can't come in my house without getting glitter on you. I mean, everyone's like, oh, yeah, that was it. Well, the check is. <laughs> <laughs> So who do you like working with? I mean, you've named a few people, but I mean, not not well, the I people love, who put the show uh, together. You know, um, I'm also doing another show the Friday after we go to Laguna Honda. We're doing a big show at the Cat Club on Friday of Gay Pride Weekend with one of my absolute favorite, bestest friends. I love her, uh, Anaconda. Okay. I did Charlie Horse for years yeah. and years. I loved Charlie Horse. Uh, a different show than all the others, but you know, still thematic. I mean, that was like political themes. Mm. Monster Show tends to be funny. Cocktail Gate, just subversive. You know, they're all sort of have their own different thematic expressions. But uh, I'm doing Blow Pony San Francisco. Blow Pony is a party that's from Portland. Uh-huh. Um, it's kind of Love like an all-inclusive gay or Not just gay party, really, because in Portland, certainly, it's not all gay people. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, they're, it's skinny, it's fat, it's young, it's old, it's, uh, you know, happy, it's sad, it's bears, it's you know, no hair, it's uh, people, you know, people come together for the music is amazing. It's not just one particular kind of dance music. I mean, it runs the gamut of, you know, disco to current stuff, to electronica, to rock and roll, to whatever. And we do a drag show at midnight. So me and Anaconda will be doing a show. And uh, Christine, uh, the drag queen from Austin, Texas, who uh, does I, the crazy yeah, uh, white I trash thing, that, amazing. Yeah. Uh, is also joining us, so I'm very excited for that. But so Anaconda is one of my favorites to get circle back to your question. Uh -huh. No, thank you. Um, I like the detour. Uh, Anaconda is one of my favorites. Monastat, La Monastat, sure. uh, love her. Love working with her. Did Chaser uh, when she had it over at the end up, and I hear rumors that she's going to bring it back, but wow. I don't know. Um, that ran a long time too. Didn't you know, it? suppository spelling, of course. I, yeah. mean, I love doing that show. She's so easy to work with with me. The guys at something. I mean, Glenmore. Vivian Forevermore, those guys. So, I mean, they just let me do my thing. You know, uh -huh. it's, uh, I, I mean, you know, people say I bring it or whatever. I mean, I, you know, they don't uh, over-curate me. You know, they kind of let me do what I do. And it uh -huh. always seems to, you know, I get pretty positive feedback. So That's the name of it, right? 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 Yeah. <laughs> what Do you work at all with, uh, with um, Heclina anymore or... Yeah, I mean, Putinesca. I just did a. Uh, well, Putinesca just does photographs. Well, no, right, Putin does doesn't, special. but Juan does. But um, yeah. I was just in, yeah, Training Shack. I just did Stevie Nicks Night. Okay. Uh, which was super fun. Okay. And uh, yeah, we did uh, We do a benefit every few months. Uh, Ivy does. Um, Ivy Drip. Ivy Drip does a party for the Harvey Milk School in the Castro. That's right, that's and right. And so uh, I totally hung out with Hecklina there last, you know, we just did it a couple months ago. So, God, you guys are we so do, busy. but I mean, a lot of times when she's doing her parties, I'm booked hosting something, yeah. or you know, I mean, I kind of book stuff pretty far out, so it's you know, it's hard. Yeah, well, I mean, I think a lot of you do. I mean, a few yeah. people are well, not a few, probably the majority only work sporadically, I think. I think but people can, you know, there's people, people who come in and out, and yeah, certainly exactly. over my years doing this, yeah, I've seen a lot come and go, and you know, that's kind of how it works. Uh, I, you know, I don't think that's the way it's going to work for me. But you know, I mean, I guess you just never know. You don't know. I mean, life takes you it in all kinds be, of directions. It could be health. It could be yeah, marriage. Exactly. Marriage. <laughs> yeah, I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> so, <I've> <laughs> why don't we take a look at some pictures? And, okay. Uh, I'll let you tell us. So this what picture they are. Uh, was taken by Shando Darby, okay. uh, and this picture was taken by Shando Darby. He did a photo shoot with me. He took about 813 pictures. This picture was taken by uh, Mabel uh, Jimenez, 
who is a photographer who works in the Mission on the Mission News. Okay. Uh, it was for a fundraiser I did for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society called Light the Nightlife, at which I do every year. I'm um, hoping to do it again this summer at the Lookout. I'm going to bug those guys in a couple weeks. So maybe they'll, <laughs> this is my plug. Uh, they let me do it there on a Tuesday night, and I just get a bunch of friends together. We raise money for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, which does Light the Night a walk in October. Okay. Uh, well, this was, I just got no, this taken yeah. by Victor Douglas. I, I know I'm wearing the same dress. Oh, I love it. Uh, it was, uh, he is a photographer over in Oakland, a dear, dear friend of mine. Uh, he has a great studio. He took, I, I've only seen about 40 of the pictures. I wanted pictures to put, I wanted to post a different picture in this dress every day for June, for Gay uh -huh. Pride Month. Wow. Uh, every once in a while I do something like that. Like just, you know, I work with a photographer or whatever. I would like to work with a lot of new photographers or sure. people who, um, are more experimental than than you know just sort of portraiture and I like to you know I like to bring what I bring and then I like to do what they want me to do mm -hmm. so it's kind of fun uh, there's another picture that was from Victor Douglas I uh, love that I like the, the money <laughs> you know, a lot of people money. love that um, and yeah it's super fun he just did a great job this was Mercedes Merdul which who is uh, just got out of uh, the Art Institute Okay. Uh, she, I was one of her final projects for graduation. So she hit up Anaconda. Anaconda sent her to me. Uh, I did a series of photographs that uh, I posted one a day for about a month. And uh, people's reaction to it was, you know, amazing. And she just, you know, she did a great job. And <laughs> she, we had a lot of fun in the studio. Oh, that's great. And uh, we did some, we tried to do some commercial stuff. I, you can't see, I'm holding a Bud Light there. Yeah. Um, this is back to Shando Darby. Everybody loves this picture, so I had to include it. Uh, he took 815 pictures of me. He followed me around for one night. Wow. 815 pictures. Uh, they are amazing. Amazing. Now, you said you posted them. Where are you posting them? I post them on Facebook. Okay. <laughs> not anywhere. You know, I mean, I'm not so trying to sell You don't anything. have a website. I don't have a website. Okay. I, well, I own mothertrucker.com, but, okay. you know, I need a good uh, web designer who uh, <laughs> will you work for cheap. You hear that out there, starving <laughs> students? Um, um, well, we're actually getting close to time. I okay. can't believe it. See how quick it goes? So you're going to be appearing in the next week. Or yes, so, uh, over Gay Pride weekend. I'd love to see people on Friday night at Blow Pony, which is at the Cat Club, because uh, we're going to have a ton of fun. And I love a party that's diverse. Mm -hmm. uh, that Thursday night, I'll be at the Monster Show for their Gay Pride uh, extravaganza, which is late. Uh, and earlier, I'll be at the Stud for their 45th anniversary party. Um, Cocktail Gate this Sunday, Burlesque. Uh -huh. I'll be around for that. Uh, something tomorrow night, or Friday night. <laughs> I'm so rushing it. Uh, for Vivian Forevermore's uh, Getting Married. We'll okay. see what that happens. What's yeah. that all about? Um, and I think that's it. that's it for the next few weeks. And of course, I hope I see you all at Juanita Moore's uh, Pride Party. Uh, okay, yeah. I won't be performing there, but <laughs> we always seem to get in a lot of pictures. So let's say Facebook.com. Mother Chucka. Mother, M-U-T-H-A, C-H-U-C-K-A, C-K-A. Yeah. Mother Chucka. Well, I'm really grateful that you came, that took the time oh, to come on absolutely. down and it was a uh, thrill. talk with me, you know. Yay. Drag show, you're, you'll be uh, up on our website. I love and that. And YouTube and all that kind of stuff, and you can use it for whatever you want to use it oh, for. Oh, thank you. you know? Well, it's just great to be, you know, part of history. Yeah. Absolutely. And I think you're creating history here. Well, I'm trying to. I'm trying to kind of archive yeah. some of the... What's going on? It's so important I'm in the me. archives. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> you will rag. Ah! <laughs> well, thank you so much. You're you know, welcome. And I will be seeing you at some of these events. I don't know when, how, where, but I'll be at some of them. Yay. Sure. Well, come and up and give me a big kiss. Yeah, come on. Mwah. Happy Pride to you happy and happy pride. pride to everybody. Thank happy you. Pride. Thank you. <laughs> that was a good this goes ending. Fly through. Yeah. This time. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. We can we can be